Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us see how to convert colored image to an ASCII art in Python by using its built-in module pillow. There is no need to import any other modules to convert into ASCII code. The input image that I have considered is elephant.png. This elephant is placed in a white background. You can take any colored image and the input image can be of any size. So now, in, now com coming to the uh, Python implementation, first import image from pillow. There are five steps that we are going to follow to convert this colored input image to the equivalent ASCII art. The first step is to resize the input image. The second step is to convert the image to grayscale format. And the third step is to get all the pixels of the image. The fourth step is to replace the pixels with intensity that we got in step 3 to a defined range of characters. The characters are nothing but the ASCII characters defined, predefined in the list. And the last step is to uh, the array long array of string of character has to be split into multiple strings whose length will be equal to the new width. So these are the five steps. Uh, they are mostly uh, one or two lines of statements. Before going to this uh, steps, First, we have to open the input image. So, here I will call open method and pass uh, elephant.png. I have kept this input uh, colored image in the same folder as my Python code. If the input image is in some other location for you, you have to give the complete path. Uh, similarly, at the end, we must also write the ASCII art to the text file. The text file that I am taking is ASCII image.txt again in the same folder as the Python script. Uh, as we want to write back, let me open this uh, text file in write mode and store it to the variable f. Now, write to this file f.write the string of characters that we got after executing these five steps, which is nothing but ASCII image. Uh, so, now we will see how to get this ASCII underscore image variable to write it into the text file. So, the first step is in order to resize the input image, we should uh, get the aspect ratio, which is nothing but the height by width of the image. Now, I am going to give new width for this image as 100 and going to have new height as aspect ratio multiplied by the new width that is 100 multiplied by 0 0.5. You can take this new width and height as per the image you have chosen. So, on having uh, this new width and height defined, let us resize the input image and store it back to image variable. So, this is our first step. We have resized the input image. Coming to step 2, this is very simple one line statement. We will convert this input image to a grayscale. Uh, if we recollect, we can. We, I said we can take any colored image. Because here any colored image will get converted into a grayscale. And the third step is to get the pixels of the image using statement get data, which returns the list intensity of all pixels. Value of intensity will be between 0 to 255. Lower the value, darker the color. And coming to the fourth step, character is the uh, list arranged from higher intensity to lower intensity. Here B uh, will be representing the black color and the last one dot will represent the white color. Again, pixel double slash 25 here. 25 is the intensity range for one character in the uh, input image file. It can be between 0 to 11. Uh, you may keep more characters in the list also. So, uh, the new pixel will 
replace the pixels with intensity from 0 to 25 with the first character from the uh, characters list and 26 to 50 the next 25 pixels with the second character in the list and so on and they are uh, uh, joined with uh, uh, using a join statement and hence new pixel is a long list or a long array now the fifth step is to uh, split this uh, string of characters long list into a multiple string and their size or the length will be equal to the new uh, width so that uh, we can move to the next line uh, so for that first we have to get the length of this new pixels and now ascii image variable will be uh, taking up or splitting this long list to the size of new width and the next long list is joined by with a backslash n that is a new line statement is introduced so each uh, string will be to the size of new length then next line character then again joined for the next uh, new width now uh, i will remove uh, make my text file empty let me run the python program I got the error thrown at uh, line 25. Okay, it's a typo error. It should be a new pixels count. Once again, I'm running the Python script. We got the uh, ASCII art for our colored image. So this is achieved by uh, built-in module pillow by following just five steps and they are very simple. Hope you liked the video. Uh, please share with your uh, uh, friends. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we give uh, new videos.